market. So every trip to the grocery store seems to take a little bit more money out of our wallet. It sure every does. Time, every single it? time. So yeah. take a look at this. Year to year, the cost of milk is up 14%, nearly 15%. Chicken up 16%. Mm. Butter is up nearly 20%. Holy moly. How do you... How do you eat? Never, never mind how do you eat healthy, but how do That's you eat healthy and not bust your budget? Today, yeah. we're calling on one of the nation's top nutritionists. It's Joy Bayer. There she is. Hi, Hi, Joy. Hey, guys. So great to be here. And I'm like a little bummed that I wasn't in your mac and cheese contest. I mean, you should have, I said, you should have delivered us from my pain and suffering. Uh, his, I'm almost done. His is delicious. But probably not, not approved by you. Joy Bauer would not like this. <laughs> I would get in a, well, a mac, mac and cheese is one of those foods, though. It's tricky because it's so rich and so yeah. indulgent. But I have a lot of tricks. So at some point, I'm going to come into the studio Please. and feed you guys my mac and cheese. Excellent. Are you available tomorrow? <laughs> an hour I may be. <laughs> Fantastic. Please. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you. So thank you so much Absolutely. because we we talk a lot about on this broadcast about ways that folks can be healthy, not break the bank, which seems virtually mm -hmm. impossible. But we want to start it with the ten foods that you should be buying. So tell us about the budget-friendly foods that we should be buying. You got it. And it is a bit agonizing right now, but there are yeah. foods that everybody needs to take advantage of. So the first one is going to be oats. And you can see here, I'm showing a great big canister of oats. Mm -hmm. The great thing about oats is that they're loaded. It's a whole grain yeah. and it, it, it is loaded with nutrition. And when I clock the math, per serving, you're only spending about 30 cents. And I also, what I love about oatmeal, aside from being so ridiculously easy to prepare, it's almost the perfect vehicle to incorporate other good for you foods, things like nuts and seeds and fresh berries. So there's a lot of great things that I love about oats. The second food on my list would be frozen vegetables. Frozen vegetables are great because there's no waste. And I'm showing here a variety pack. I love when you see the vegetable blends because you know then from the color, there's a lot of various nutrients that are good for your body. And they're simple to make and we all have very hectic lives, right? We're juggling a lot of different yes. things. So when they're sitting in your freezer, you can just pop them in the microwave or sometimes what I'll do is from the frozen state, I'll put them right into a big simmering pot of soup. Now it's really hot okay. outside, <laughs> but we do crank the AC. So we're still eating mm -hmm. soup, but I love those frozen vegetables and specifically because they're just as nutritious as fresh. They're widely available and they're very budget smart right now. I'm also showing potatoes. I love spuds. Embrace th these as carbs. You wanna bake them, you wanna roast them, you don't wanna fry them. But what I love about potatoes, aside from the fact that year round, they're very budget friendly, they have a lot of fiber, they've got a lot of potassium, which helps to manage our blood pressure. Um, and if you go for the sweet potato, you get beta carotene, which promotes mm. a glowing complexion. You see here, I'm showing what some people would call humdrum everyday fruits, but I'm telling you, bananas, oranges, and apples do not sell these guys short. They're always budget friendly and they're packed with the good stuff. And when your bananas start to get speckly and brown, do not throw them out. You peel the outside, stash them in the freezer, oh, yeah. and if, if you cut them up, it's almost like you're eating creamy banana ice cream yeah. or use them for smoothies. Super simple. I also incorporate them into baked goods because it adds a sweet creaminess, yeah. natural sugar, and you don't have to add as much sweetener. And they're, they're this not is as expensive as some of the berries. We, right. wanted to, we wanted to talk about the increased price of food because you're telling us on, on, on how to save. I love those staples because berries are like an arm and a leg right yeah. now. Especially um, if they're organic, right, you know, right. and that's the one question I have, organic versus non-organic, because that seems to be a big price range, too, sometimes. Right, but talk to us about plant-forward yeah. uh, meals. So what is plant-forward plant versus plant-based? So I'm showing here lentils and beans, whether you get the dried or whether you get canned ready to eat, it's really important for a number of reasons. And when I say plant forward, that doesn't mean that you have to go vegetarian. Nobody has to do that. But you do want to go out of your way to have meals two or three times a week that are using these plant-based proteins. And again, I'm calling out to lentils and to beans and even tofu. And the reason is from a cost perspective, they're going to be less expensive than your meats and your chicken. But from a health perspective, they are packed with 
vitamins and minerals and all of these things that shower our body with the right stuff. And they're also guys, they're fantastic for the planet. Yeah. So they check almost every single box and you don't have to be, again, exclusive plant-based, but plant forward. So if everybody has homework, could sort of commit to two or three meals during the week that incorporate these plant forward or plant-based proteins, I mean, the world would be a better place. The world Truly. would be. I still <laughs> use a circular. We're running out of time, Joy, but talk to us about the circular Abuela. coupons. I am the abuelita. I don't care because I got, I'm staring down the barrel of two college tuitions. I say this every day on the show. Comparison shopping. I hear shopping. you. Comparison I hear you. I've got three kids. Yeah. Yeah, so what you want to do is there are a lot of deals to be had. So pick up those circulars at your various local grocery stores. I tell everybody, too, before you go to the grocery store, go to their websites because you can download clip-free deals as well. And there are also things like Abata, different, different apps that you could download, and you could really take advantage of so many coupons and so many specials that are out there. And I also want to give a quick shout-out to the farmer's markets. Yeah. Whether you live in a city mm -hmm. or whether you live in the suburbs, the farmer's markets, not only are they um, budget friendly, all of their luscious, delicious produce items, but also you're connecting and supporting local businesses. And you also know that these things were peak, picked at the peak of ripeness and there's not you a lot of travel time. Mm -hmm. That's so right. they're, yeah, you know exactly. they're Joy, packed with so freshness. Much. Thank you so much. Joy, great to see you again. Chocolate You've got it. If you want some great recipes for some budget friendly foods, head to joybauer.com. Thank you, Joy. Bye-bye, guys. Joy. See you soon.